Jordan, what are you writing? A letter. What's up with you been writing letters lately? What? I've been writing letters my whole life. Alright, Jordan, so what do you write about? First of all, my name is not Jordan. Second, I write to release my thoughts. You're not Jordan. No, my name is Nora Helmer. Okay. Stop talking to me like I'm a child. My husband used to do that to me. Hey, Brandon. Jordan thinks he's possessed. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm serious. He thinks his name is Nora. So he thinks he's a woman? Yeah, and he says he's married. Jordan's married. Yeah, to some guy named Torvald. What the hell kind of name is that? Uh, you gotta come see this, man. Come on. <sighs> Jordan, why are you wearing a dress? Who is this? This is our brother. This is my brother. Why is he here? He just wants to hang out. Please continue. Torvald treated me and my children badly. You have children too? A woman of my stature should. Actually, I'm no longer married. I free myself from that arrogant fool. What did he do? I told you, he treated me like a child! You are a child. You are as rude as he was. I left him because Krogstad gave him one of my letters. <laughs> What's with these names? He needs to shut up. Okay, he will. He will. He'll be quiet. Krogstad did the same crime I did, but I made the mistake and wrote about it. You committed a crime? I had to to keep my husband alive. Oh. Okay, so what does Krogstad have to do with any of this? Krogstad gave my husband the letter. Ah, oh, I see. Makes sense. It was pure blackmail. Well, what did you write in it? That. I will not say. All this because of a letter? All you need to know is, the letter opened my eyes and convinced me that I could live on my own. I almost killed myself once, but Krogstad saved me. Wait, so you liked this guy? No, he was an old friend's husband. Oh, I see. I want all the women like me to understand that they are not dolls and they can live on their own. What a friggin' weirdo. Shut up and get me some macaroons, and you, this conversation is over.